Hey guys, I'm Akash and I welcome you all on Pavli. So the topic for today's video is Enroll new user in Teachable on Instamojo payment and create contact and in charge. Now suppose guys you are selling some course online using Teachable. You have created a course in Teachable and to receive the payments from your students, from your customers, you are using an online payment gateway just like Instamojo. Now every time a student pays you on Instamojo, you have to manually collect the details of that student and enroll that student in your course in Teachable. Also you want to add the very same student, very same customer into the Encharge CRM. Now manually doing this process could cost you a lot of your time and energy. So to solve this problem, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever we will receive a payment on our Instamojo account, automatically the same customer will be enrolled in our Teachable course as well as the same person will be added in our Encharge CRM as a person as well. Interesting right? Now you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what are the actual steps to create this automation and how you can set up this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-P-P-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And as we reach on the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I'll name this workflow as Instamojo to Teachable to Encharge. And after naming the workflow, just click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we can see two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details of the payments which we are receiving on our Instamojo account inside Pavli Connect. And then we will send that very same data to Teachable to enroll that user and add that very same person into our Encharge CRM as well. So in trigger window in choose app first we have to select Instamojo. Instamojo it is. And after selecting Instamojo in trigger event, we will select new sale. After selecting the trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to connect our Instamojo payment page or payment link with Pavli Connect. So for that, let's just create a new payment link on our Instamojo account. So we will go to Instamojo dashboard and click on create new. So if you already have a payment page or payment link generated, just go to the edit, edit section and add this webhook URL at that very same payment page. So I'll create a payment link, click on create link, select smart link. I'll name this link as for example, the course in which I'm enrolling the user is a PHP course. So I'll name it as PHP course. I'll enter a flat pricing for example of nine rupees. Click on customize link and here we can see in update payment link section, we have four options. We will select the last option of smart action and select add webhook. Now we have to paste the very same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us over here. So we will copy the webhook URL from Pavli Connect, go back to this page and paste it over here and click on done. Now we have successfully generated a payment link inside our Instamojo account and connected it with the same payment link with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL. Now this is the URL for that payment link. I'll just copy it, go to an incognito tab and paste the payment link over here. So guys, this is the payment page or payment link from which I will be collecting payments from my user. So whenever a user will enter the details over here and make the payment, the details of very same payment will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's just do this. We have to make a test payment over here. So I will enter the name of a person, a dummy user, for example, Karan Singh. Then enter the email. And phone number. Then we have to click on next and make the payment. So I'll be making an actual payment guys. And the payment is done. 
Now we can see that we have successfully received a payment from this payment link. Now as we receive the payment, the details of the very same payment will be also captured inside Pabli Connect. So we will minimize this window and go back to our workflow. And in this workflow, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we have received the payment ID of the payment, which we have just received on that link. We have the currency, the payment status and the amount of the payment. So we have received a response of have receiving a new seal. But in this response, the details of the customer who actually made the payment is missing. So you can read the help text over here, which is the important note says, note that if you need full details corresponding to any transaction ID, then you need to use the Instamojo get payment detail event in the next action, st next action step. So to get the details of the customer or to complete transaction details, we have to go to the next step in our uh, workflow. So we will scroll down and here in action window, we have to once again select for uh, choose app in choose app. We have to select for Instamojo. Instamojo. And then in action event, we have to select get payment details. Click on connect, select add new connection. Now we have to connect our Instamojo account using a private API key and private authentication token of our Instamojo account. Now you must be thinking how we are going to get the private API key and private authentication token of our Instamojo account. For that, you just have to go to the dashboard of your Instamojo account. And on the left side, you can see there's an option named as API and plugins. By clicking on this, you can get the private API key and private authentication token of your own Instamojo account. So you just have to copy those details from there and paste it in Public Connect and in at this speeds and click on save. I have already made the connection. So I will click on select existing connection and click on save. After making the connection of Instamojo account with Public Connect, we have to actually enter the payment ID for which we are willing to retrieve the details. So have, we have received the payment ID in our trigger response from Instamojo inside Public Connect. So in these responses, we have received the payment ID and this is the payment ID. So we have to map this very same payment ID over here in this payment ID field. So the process of mapping is very simple guys. We just have to click on this field and from the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from Instamojo in our trigger window. So out of all these responses, we will select the response for payment ID and click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. And this response has all the details of the payment and the customer who actually made the payment. So we can see that the amount of payment, the currency of payment, and the name of the customer who made the payment, the phone number which they have entered and the email address which they have entered while making the payment. So guys, we have retrieved the details of the payment and also the details of the customer who actually made the payment. Now we want to enroll this very same person into our teachable course. For that, we will scroll down and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for teachable. Teachable it is. And then in action event, we will select create, oh sorry, enroll user in course because we want to enroll a new user into the existing course of our Teachable account. Click on connect, select add new connection. And here we have to enter the email address and password. Basically the login credentials of our Teachable account. And other than that, we have to enter the subdomain of our Teachable school. So you must be having the email address and password of your Teachable account, but you must be thinking how you are going to get the subdomain. So to get the subdomain, log into your Teachable account, open your school and here after opening your school in the URL section, you can see that there is a subdomain before dot Teachable and after slash. So this is public connect school. This is the subdomain of my school. So we'll just copy this subdomain from here go back to public connect and paste it over here and enter the email address and password. And after that, click on save to make the connection. I have already made the connection. So I will click on select existing connection and click on save. After making the connection here, we can see that it is asking us some details. So first thing it asks us is of course, and the drop down below, you can see all the courses which we have created in our teachable school can be seen over here. So basically teachable is asking in out of all these courses, in which course we want to enroll this user. 
So I want to enroll the user in this course PHP course by Neeraj Agrawal. Let me show you in my Teachable account. So we'll go to our Teachable account, go to courses section, and you can see I have three courses over here. These three courses and the list of these same three courses can be seen inside Pabli Connect as well. So after selecting the course, we have to enter the email address, username, and password for our user to whom we are enrolling to our Teachable account. So we will to enter the email address. We'll just select here, click here. And from the drop down from the responses which we have received from Instamojo in the action step, we have retrieved the details of the customer who made the payment. And in all those details, we can see this is the email address of that very same customer. So select the details, select the email address. Then in place of username, we will map the name of the customer. And in place of password, we will map the phone number. For example, the phone number will be the password of that very same user. But don't forget, guys, you have you also have to update these users about the username and password to log into the Teachable course. So after mapping all these details, just click on Save and Send Test Request. Now, as we click on Save and Send Test Request, we have received a response over here. This response says the customer whose detail we have mapped over here, basically the customer who actually made the payment on our Instamojo payment page is enrolled to this course in our Teachable account. So let's just check this. We'll go back to our Teachable account, go to this course. And after selecting our course, we'll go to the student section. This is the student section. And yes, guys, we can see that Karan Singh, the same customer who actually made the payment on our Instamojo payment page is automatically enrolled to the course in our Teachable account. So this is, this is the very same name of the customer, the same email address and same details. So guys, the step two of creating this automation is successfully completed. In step one, we have received that or collected the data of the payments which we are receiving on our Instamojo payment page and retrieved the details of the customer who actually made the payment. And in our step two, we send that very same data to Teachable to enroll that user and to enroll that customer into the course in our Teachable account. Now we have to move to step three. We also have want to add that very same customer into our NCAR CRM also. For that, we'll get back to our workflow, scroll down and click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, we will search for in charge. In charge it is. After selecting and charge an action event, we will select add or update person. Click on connect, select add new connection and click on connect with in charge. So guys, in my browser, I have already logged into my in charge account. That's why Pabli Connect detected the very same account and it is asking us for the authorization. I will click on allow and we can see that our in charge account is now successfully connected with Pabli Connect workflow as well. So after making the connection here, we can see that it is asking us some details of the person to whom we want to add as a customer, as a contact in our in charge CRM. So first it is asking us for the email. So I'll click here and from the drop down below from Instamojo get payment detail responses, we will map the email of the same customer. Then it is asking us for the post name and last name. So we don't have the separate team post name and last name as a separate responses. So we will ignore this. And in the name field, we will just map the same name. So we'll click here from the drop down below. We will map the very same response of the complete name of the customer. Then it is asking us some more details like last activity created ad. So we can also ignore these details as the, these details are not required, not mandatory. And we just have to map the phone number. So we will come to the phone number field, click here and from the drop down, we will map the phone number of the customer. And after mapping the phone number, we will scroll down to the bottom of this very same step and click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, we have received a response over here. The response says the customer whose details we have mapped in this step is successfully added as a new contact or as a new person in our NCharge CRM. So let's just check this as well. We'll go back to our NCharge account, go to the people section 
And at this page, we can see that Karan Singh, the very same customer whose details we have entered while making the payment on Insta Mojo payment page, is also automatically added as a person in our Encharge CRM. So we can see that the step three of this workflow is also completed, guys. We have successfully created an automation by which whenever a customer will make a payment on our Insta Mojo payment page, automatically the very same customer will be enrolled into the teachable course which we want to enroll, and also, guys, the same customer will be added as a person in our Encharge CRM. So we have successfully created this workflow, but once let's just test this workflow. So I'll just minimize this workflow first. Uh, this is the third step, the second step, and this is the first step. So guys, the workflow is created. Now let's just test this workflow once. We'll go back to our Instamojo dashboard, go to payment link section, and this is the payment link which we have just now created. We'll just copy the link of this payment page, go to an incognito tab and paste it over here. Now this time we will enter the details of a new customer. For example, the name of the customer is Akib Khan. Akib Khan is the name of the customer. Let me enter an email address. And let me enter a phone number. Click on next. Let me make the payment. And yes, guys, we can see that the payment is successful. Just now we have received a payment on our Instamojo payment page, which we have created for our teachable course from a customer named as Akib Khan. This is the email address and this is the phone number of the very same customer. Now, because we have created this automation, guys, we can see that this very same customer will be automatically enrolled to the course in our teachable account. So let's just go to the teachable account. This is the student section of that very same course. Let's just refresh this page once. And yes, guys, we can see that Akik Khan, the same person whose details we have entered on the payment page is automatically enrolled to a teachable course as well. So guys, after the course enrollment, we have also added a step of enrolling or adding this person in our Encharge CRM. So let's just check our Encharge CRM, refresh this page as well. And after refreshing this page, we can also see that the Akib Khan, the very same person, is also added to our Encharge CRM as a person automatically without any manual effort. So guys, we have tested this automation in real time that this automation which we have created is working perfectly. Now let's just understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while making this automation. So after creating our workflow in the trigger application, we have selected Instamojo and new sale was the trigger event. Then we have connected our Instamojo payment link or payment page, whatever you are using to collect the payments from your customer with Pabli Connect using a webhook URL and made a test payment on that payment page so that we can capture the details of a new payment receiving a new payment inside Pabli Connect. But the response which we, were we have received was not having the actual details of the customer. So in the next step, we have retrieved the details of the customer by get payment details action event. After that, after retrieving the details of the customer, we have sent that very same details to Teachable to enter that person into the course which we want to enter. And after that, in the next step, in the last step, we have sent that very same details which we have received from Instamojo to Encharge to add or update that person as a new user in our a new person as a in our Encharge CRM. So not just these application guys, you can connect plenty of other application using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this very same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free.